Hey guys, I have something very exciting to show you. I um, was absolutely sick of my iPad layout, my home screen. Um, I had had it for two, three years. I know it's, I know, <laughs> but I, I just, I wanted to do something differently. And when I was like looking for ideas, I came across something really, really cool and it's called Choose From Menu. Do you see what just popped up when I tapped this icon? Right, it's a menu. So I have everything. I mean, like, I went crazy with it. I have everything I need on one page now. One page. First, I did it on my phone. And um, let me show you what I did on my phone. So on my phone I just have my main screen with all of the these are all actual icons they just take you to calendar notes phone camera etc but then I have um, everything I need on one page I broke everything um, down into just little uh, you know headings and then each one has a list so you can see under social I have everything I need and so I took it and I ran with it on my iPad and I think I'm, I even love it even more on my iPad. And today I'm going to show you how. So if you are an iPhone or iPad user, um, you can do this. Okay. And what you do is you go into shortcuts. Okay. And you click the plus button. Now, before we get into this, um, one thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to like grab a piece of paper and write down what you want under each heading and think about the name you give the heading because you don't want to give the heading a name photos. If you know, I mean, you may have a lot of different apps for photo editing, but um, because that photos will um, might op just think of creative names that don't conflict with an app's name already. Okay, so for this um, purpose, we're going to name this shortcut favorites. So I'm going to go over here. It says new shortcut 13. I'm going to click rename and I'm just going to do favorites. Okay. Now you are going to search for apps and actions and you're going to type in choose and you'll see choose from menu, choose from list. You're going to select choose from menu. Okay, so when you tap that, this comes up. Choose from menu with prompt. Okay, so the prompt is what's going to go on your phone. Okay, it's going to be the little uh, icon. So we're going to write favorites. Now you see it says one, two, add item. So you're going to go to one and you're going to delete that. And I'm going to do uh, choose from menu. I'm going to do messages. I'm going to do mail. I'm going to do calendar. We'll just do three. Okay. I do not actually um, have these as in my menu. The uh, well, We'll get back to that. Okay. So we're just doing this for an example, and then I'll show you what I specifically did. So, um, so we have choose from menu with favorites. We have messages, mail, and calendar. Okay, and you see, as we typed, it auto-populated these little um, blue icon things, okay? Now, you have to go to search for apps and actions again, and you wanna type open app, all right? And you'll see under scripting, it says open app. You're gonna tap it. You're gonna tap it three times because you, um, you have three items. So we're gonna open app, open apps. Now we have three. Okay, so we're going to take our finger, I guess you could take a pen, I just, I use my finger, and you're going to move it under the messages. And you can see it automatically indents it for you. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with our second option and with our third option. So when you're done, you'll have these, your three um, headings in your list, and then it'll say open app. So now it just says open app you have to assign it the app that you want it to open. So I want it to open messages. So I'm just going to type messages. You can also scroll. Now I'm gonna, so I'll scroll. Type mail. 
or scroll, and now calendar. Okay, so when you're done, you will have, it'll look like this from the top. It'll say choose from menu with favorites. You'll have messages, mail, calendar. And then you'll have messages, open messages, mail, open mail, calendar, open calendar. And you're done. Now you're gonna come over here to the little info button and you're gonna tap it and you're gonna select add to home screen. It'll assign you a um, icon, but I mean, no. <laughs> So I make my icons in Procreate or Canva. Um, you know, you can do a photo. There's so many places to get images. So we're gonna choose photo. I have a heart, we're just gonna use that. So that's what it's gonna look like and we're gonna click add. So it's gonna add it to my home screen. Now it's putting it on this page because I have everything on one page, but when you tap it, there it is, favorites. So it gives you your heading, messages, mail and calendar. So let's open um, calendar and then it, boom, it just opens just like that. Isn't that crazy? Now, what's really, really cool is let's say I want to, I don't know if you've ever done shortcuts before. If you make a change to a shortcut, you got to re-add the shortcut. You don't have to with this. So let's add a new item. Let's say, oh, you know, you made it and you want to add something else to your favorites. Okay, so let's add music to our favorites. Okay, music. All right, so we're gonna click done. We need to, we added music, so that means we have to go over here and click open app again. All right, we're gonna take that and move it under music. Whoopsies, where did it go? Nope, come here. Here, I'm gonna do that again. Open app, music, stick it under music. Oh my God, why isn't it not sticking it under music? Mm. Mm. Hang on, don't worry. Um, sometimes it gets glitchy and that's okay. Please just do this. Of course, it's not gonna do this. It, it will, it's just being stinky right now. I gotta think about what I did the last time to get it to work. Now, one thing to know about shortcuts is it is true sometimes, here, um, you know, we're gonna exit out. Hang on, we're gonna exit out. It's actually probably a good thing that this is happening because if it happens to me, it's gonna happen to you. So we're gonna go back into favorites and there we go. All right, so there, did you see what I did? It wasn't, um, it wasn't behaving the way it should, so we just exited out and came back in, and then now under music, we have open app. We're gonna choose music, <clears throat> excuse me, and there, all right? So now we've done that, right? Let's look at our favorites. There it is. Isn't this a game changer? I mean, this is an absolute game changer. So I have, just so you know, so this is my iPad. This is where I do all of my work stuff. Um, so I have my um, doc down here, have everything I need, like that I use all the time. I mean, I use these things all the time too, but I mean, when I'm in GoodNotes, I wanna pull in different things. So I want, so I have messages, mail, music, Safari, files, Dropbox, my website, my Etsy um, shop, and then I have my planner for 2024. Oh, that's not the right planner. Oh, I have switched my planners. But anyway, and then under, I have four menu options. I have note taking, which has um, note shelf and good notes and my notes app. I have design where I have all of my, you know, photos and iFont and Canva and Procreate. And I threw Pinterest in there because I like to look at Pinterest to get ideas. Um, I have a learn button where I have podcasts and books, and then I have essentials for settings, um, and weather, because <laughs> that's essential. That way it's just, it's a one, um, one screen. I do have this because I mean, I, I, I'm a creative. I need to have, I need to be inspired. And so my goal is to have something very simple, but then I can swap like these out. These are done in color widgets, which is why you're not seeing um, the little name underneath it. I like to swap things out to be inspired. So I'll probably switch that out. But I mean, this is 
quite possibly the coolest thing I've ever done. So I, I hope you have fun with it. And um, I'll do another one on my phone to show you how I do it on my phone as well because the I mean, it's the same process, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, you can always send me a message. All right. Have a super day, you guys. Bye.